a spam comment because in the previous video I was talking about you shouldn't spam your comments on other people's hubs or on other people's blogs in general so this person has spammed my hub and as you can see what what they've written doesn't make any sense at all so I will be removing it as soon as this video is over and uh, regarding the type of comments you should leave it should be something that benefits the original blog posts or article you only need to write a few lines and ideally what you should do you should mention the keyword of the blog posts or article in question so if I scroll up here a bit to the top well this hub that I've written is about paid to write freelance articles so if you was going to write a, leave a comment you'd want to mention the word paid to write or freelance writers something like that involved in your um, comments okay so now that we've clarified that I want to show you another thing which is the title your URL to be more specific when you first sign up for hub pages and you decide you want to write your first hub they're going to ask you for a URL so if this is the name of my one it's hubpages.com forward slash hub forward slash writers for fun now writers for fun is what I added because my hub is about writers so that's what you want to do you always want to make sure that first that you put a word that's associated with your article into your URL description yeah and another thing you want to keep it short and as you can see from my URL you are allowed to put a, a number there so instead of putting the word for I've put the number so it's writers for fun okay so um, and another thing I want to go into which we might have to pick up in the next video is your tagging this is another important point you always want to make sure you've got tags as many tags as possible that describes your article and the reason why you, you want to do this is because it makes it easier for people to find your work when they're searching for it within the hub page community or via the search engines and uh, let me just give you an example I'm going to click this paid for writing and if we're lucky you should see as an example of what tagging can do for you if uh, unlucky I'll have to show you in the next video but basically that's what you, you need the tags there because it helps people to find your work more easily and also yeah there you see it here's my article for that phrase paid to write and that's what tagging does so say somebody came to hub pages and they type that into the search box then they'll find my article even though they probably wasn't originally looking for it but it's just it's just another way it's just like um going back to doing the the comments that's another way of people to find your hubs so that's why you said you need to do pay attention and make sure you write good comments not spam comments and also pay attention to your url description and your tagging okay i'm gonna wrap up this video and then in the next video i'm going to talk more about tagging and the difference between the hub page search engine and the google search engine and why you want to try and rank in both of them okay so i'll see you on the next video